Hey Vinyl Community, it's LJ, and I wanted to shoot a quick video tonight to say a huge thanks to VC member Bespeaks68. Bespeaks68 is better known as Brett. Brett shot a trade video that kind of went through some of the stuff he had in his overflow or had and listened to and didn't like and didn't want to keep. I'll put a link to that video down here in the comments. I talked to Brett earlier today and I know he still has some of the stuff left. So if anyone's interested in um, what you see there that you don't see here that I show you that I got from him, feel free to shoot Brett a PM. Brett is a great guy, he's got some great videos and I've traded with Brett in the past and we uh, we kind of just connect like a couple of kids in high school trading tapes and records. It's, it's awesome, it's always a great experience. And Brett, thank you again. Some killer stuff here, plugging some holes in the collection, both cassettes and vinyl. So let me go ahead and show them to you guys. Some of this is common, but it's it, that's kind of cool because it's the stuff that you know it's so common that you don't want to pay a dollar for it or two dollars for it in the store. So to trade it amongst each other is, is just awesome. And if it's common, that just means it's freaking good. That's why it's common. Um, cassettes, here is Lover Boys, Get Lucky. Lover Boys, first cassette, or first album. Here's the soundtrack to Heavy Metal. Call it heavy metal. Here's an awesome album. This is Saga, Worlds Apart. Early 80s, prog, rock, great stuff. Um, Look Up on the Loose, which is a great song from Saga. Easily my favorite by them. Here's Metallica's Black Album. U2's Zuropa. Probably one of my least favorite U2 releases, but again, plugging holes in the collection, having everything else but Zuropa, seeing Brett hold it up and knowing you can just trade with each other, that's how you plug that hole, man. Here's Night Ranger's Big Life, this is Sealed. Here's a fantastic album, Squires Don't Say No. Lonely Is The Night might be the one song in history that is most often miscredited for Led Zeppelin. There's a mosquito in here. Uh, Asia, Astra. U2's Octung Baby, Aerosmith's Permanent Vacation. Uh, this was a great one that I definitely didn't have. This was Dylan and the Dead. So this is both Dylan and the Dead on tour. This was released in 1989. I haven't listened to it yet. I've wanted that on vinyl forever. I'm not even sure if it exists on vinyl. It's Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon or DSOTM De Sodom. <laughs> Here's uh, Bruce Springsteen's The River. This is Sealed. Love Springsteen. And Rush Signals. So some very cool cassette love from Brett. Brett, thank you for those. Uh, I should have said what we're listening to in the background. I'm sorry, is Snow Patrol, Eyes Open. Another absolutely brilliant album that uh, if you haven't checked it out, believe me, Snow Patrol is way more than Grey's Anatomy. You gotta listen to it. And uh, some albums from Brett as well, so hang tight. Here is Paul Revere in the Midnight Raiders, uh, Midnight Ride. This is absolutely awesome. And even with a little bit of writing on it, it's not a big deal. The album's in great shape. It's a uh, mono Columbia Press. Absolutely awesome stuff. Here is Randy Travis, Storms of Life. That might make me the one VC member that asks for a Randy Travis album in trade just days before, 24 hours before the man is found naked drunk on a highway. Go figure, no reflection on me. Um, but here's an early hint that I do have a little country vibe and uh, I'm gonna shoot a, maybe something of a country starter video or something like that sometime soon. Who knows? Here's an upgrade copy for me of Billy Joel's Piano Man. Again, common but killer. Here is Elton John's 111770. Uh, like everyone else, I have just about every Elton John album that was ever put out. Um, but his earlier stuff is actually quite good. I'm really a fan of it. I didn't have this. Thank you, Brett. Here's an upgrade copy of Steve Perry's Street Talk. You should have been gone! Chicago's 16. Again, one I didn't have. And a major surprise in the box. Uh, first of all, Brett sent me stuff back in the box that I sent stuff to him in on our first trade. And I did the same thing to him. I sent it to him, and I thought, man, I thought I was so great. Now yeah, here's your box back, uh, and then lo and behold, my box shows back up at my door. What a little shit. So without even knowing it, I mean, BC synchronicity, we just hit each other, and that was awesome. 
in Brett's letter he said, hey, there's something extra in the box. Hope you dig it, it wasn't in the trade video. And man, when I pulled out Chicken Foot's LP, I almost died. Almost died, I got so excited. So Chicken Foot is a super group with Joe Satriani, Sammy Hagar, Michael Anthony, and Chad Smith from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. And man, what an album. Holy shit. Comes with these uh, really nice inner sleeves. And I've slipped them into, um, these are Mark sleeves, Dr. Deadwax sleeves. They do a great job of protecting it. But super nice heavyweight vinyl. And I mean, the album is just killer. Killer. A super group to some degree. You know what I mean? And that's something that Hagar is uh, no stranger to. I have this in my collection. This is HSAS, which is Sammy Hagar, Neil Schoen, Kenny Aronson, and Mike Shreve. This is from 1983. And of course, you have Neil Schoen from Journey, Sammy, Mike Shreve, uh, who is Santana's first drummer for years, and uh, Kenny Aronson, who is the bassist for Rick Derringer and later went on to join Blue Oyster Cult. So Sammy Hagar has done, and this is pre-Van Halen, Sammy Hagar. Um, no stranger to super groups, this is just his newest one. Having Chad Smith behind the drum kit, Satriani on guitar, Hagar wailing away, and of course Michael Anthony laying down bass lines. Whoa, whoa. I meant to pick this up when I used to see it around and I just always slept on it. So when I saw this, I jumped! So that was absolutely awesome. Uh, of course, I've already talked to Brett. I've already said thank you. But again, uh, with the VC at large, Brett, thank you so much. Um, guys, do please go check out uh, what Brett has left in his trade video. Help him move this stuff on. Help him get some stuff you might not have. Everybody take care. A couple more videos coming up. Going to do some thread responses and hope everyone's doing well. Ciao.